Hi, my name is Jeff. I am 21 years old and I'm a Republican voter from the state of Maryland. The 2020 election will be my first presidential election. Four years ago, I supported Donald Trump for president of the United States. But this year, I'll be putting party beliefs aside and voting for the candidate that is the best option for the job during these immensely challenging times for our country. And that candidate is Joe Biden. I could speak all day about the reasons why I'm not voting to reelect Donald Trump, but I decided to focus on the two issues that I feel are most important, the COVID-19 pandemic and a clear lack of leadership that is causing widespread political division among Americans. What we as Americans have learned over these past few months is that Donald Trump was completely aware about the potential that this pandemic had to cripple this nation if we did not take precautions soon enough. He called it a hoax from the very beginning. As far back as the winter, the Trump administration's coronavirus task force has discredited the advice and facts from Dr. Fauci, the nation's leading infectious diseases expert. Now, we are seeing the negative consequences of lies, incompetence, and poor leadership before our very eyes. Approximately 200,000 Americans have died from COVID-19. Millions of Americans have been forced to file for unemployment. April 2020 was the worst month for unemployment in the history of our country. Children have had to adapt to online learning. Average rates of depression and anxiety have skyrocketed among Americans. The bottom line is this, Trump knew and Trump lied, and now we have to pay the price. In 2016, I was awarded the prestigious rank of Eagle Scout in the Boy Scouts of America. During my approximately 10 years of participation in the Boy Scouts, I learned what good leadership looks like. Leading by example, always taking responsibility for your errors and mistakes, being aware of the task at hand, listening to your peers and accepting constructive criticism, and never losing a sense of integrity and personal trust. Donald Trump does not represent any of these leadership qualities. A strong leader would have not lied as 200,000 Americans are dead from a virus. A strong leader would not have gassed peaceful protesters for a photo op at a church where he was not invited. A strong leader would not try and pin Americans against one another and escalate divisions. A strong leader would not enhance rhetoric that has put the lives of elected officials across this country in danger. A strong leader would not sit back as the international community begins to discredit the validity and integrity of the American resolve. And most importantly, a strong leader would do what was right for the American people not just those who voted for him or those who have shown support for his campaign. While I absolutely disagree with Joe Biden on many political issues and do not feel comfortable with many of the aspects of the Democratic Party's platform, I have admired Joe Biden's empathy, compassion, and strong leadership qualities over these past few months as our nation prepares for one of the most important elections in our history. Joe Biden would certainly not be my first choice for president, but I do believe that he would be a more effective leader for every American. Joe Biden was and is absolutely correct. In order for our nation to heal, the pandemic needs to get under control. The American people have suffered for too long. I'm graduating from the University of Maryland in May. If Donald Trump gets another four years, the pandemic will only get worse and I will be even more worried about finding a job upon graduating. In 2020, it's time to make a change and bring back empathy and respect to the Oval Office. The solution to that problem is to vote Donald Trump out of office. If I can do this as a Republican, then so can you. Thank you.